Not be, be able to read also impacted relationships with my family. They often use words I did not understand. I imagine my feelings were hurt or I got angry many times because I misinterpreted what they said. The Bible promises us that God will never leave us or forsake us. During all this time of pain, embarrassment, and frustration, God was working on me. In fact, he worked on me for years, but I was running from my problems. Finally, I began to listen to his voice and realize how much I really wanted to read, to be able to read the Bible. John 1 5 says, If you need wisdom, ask your generous God and he will give it to you. So I asked God for wisdom and he laid out the perfect plan for me, hope, adult, learning. In 2017, I made the commitment to myself and to God that I would learn to read. Don't get me wrong, I certainly had my doubts. <laughs> Could someone my age really learn to read? I had, been not, I had not been successful in the past. How could I think I would be successful now? But God was with me. Joshua 1 9 reminds us to be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened, for the Lord God is with you wherever you go. So I summoned up my courage and took the first step towards learning to read. It was so hard at first to hear the sounds and make sense of it all. But I never thought about quitting. I began to catch on and to even learn to become a speller. The more you read, the better you spell. Now I have found a new love for reading the Bible. That is why I wanted to read in the first place. So many verses has helped me deal with whatever life throws at me. Often I get frustrated and think, I will never be good at reading. But Galatians 6, 9 says, let us not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessings if we do not give up. When I think about that learning to read is impossible. I remember Luke 1 37. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. When I started my journey of learning how to read, I had no idea how it would impact other areas of my life. Now that my vocabulary is stronger, I understand conversations so much better. Mm -hmm. My family has noticed this too, and they have begun to make sure they use words correctly. <laughs> <laughs> so it makes it more than me. <laughs> when my brother texts me now, <laughs> he uses commas, pure periods. <laughs> and fancy a word. <laughs> but more than just using words correctly, God has used my reading to help heal old wounds in our family. Mm -hmm. Philippians 4.32 taught me that we should be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another as God and Christ forgave us. Before I learned to read, it was easy for me to become angry. God taught me in Luke 12, 12, rather than answering in anger, I should wait for the Holy Spirit to teach me what I should say. I had no idea how my learning to read 
would help heal family relationships or help me deal with my anger. But God knew, Proverbs 3, 6, 7 teaches us to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. That is exactly what he is doing in my life. Hope adult learning has taught me that every good thing comes with effort and patience. My tutor says, you can't have to move from a house before you have a good foundation. So I learned to be patient and put in the work needed to have a good strong foundation. All of us have people in our past who said we will never succeed. But Philippians 3, 13, 14 says, focus on one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. Press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize which God through Jesus Christ has called us. I'll leave you with one last verse. Luke 6, 40. A student is not greater than their teacher. But the student who is fully trained will become like the teacher. I want to thank each and every one of y'all for your time and respect y'all have shown today. God bless. Amen.